Hey guys, so far 4.5k people have subscribed to my channel. If you like my content, then you too hit on the subscribe icon and if you don't, then also do it anyway. Thanks for watching. Hello students, welcome back. In today's video, we will understand cognitive development theory by Jane Piaget. Just to remind you all that this theory is also the last part of chapter survival growth and development. Before beginning, let's understand the meaning of cognition or cognitive development. It means development of brain. You can also call it as the development of mental abilities. Beginning with the introduction of Jane Piaget, he was a Swiss psychologist who was born in August 1896 worked in the field of child development. His theory of cognitive development suggested that intelligence changes as children grow. A child not only acquires knowledge from his existing environment but also develops views or perceptions of his surroundings. Talking about brain development, we lay emphasis on mental activities like Understanding difference between two or more items, example, differentiating food on the basis of its color. Understanding and relating emotions with certain events, like not to laugh at somebody's funeral. Understanding action-reaction means if you study hard, you may score good marks. Next one is ability to solve problems. This can include real life issues or can be related to your studies. Next is remember and imitate. A child might notice a dog having milk and can imitate this act while drinking his glass of milk. And other mental activities can be imagination. This means child can create stories, generate ideas and concepts on his own. Piaget's theory of cognitive development proposes four stages of cognition or cognitive development. The first one is sensory motor stage, which is from birth to two years, pre-operational stage, two to seven years of age, concrete operational stage, seven to 11 years, and formal operational stage is from 11 to 18 years of age. Students, in this video, I will only focus on sensory motor stage because it has sub-stages as well. So, please understand this stage carefully and in the next video, I will cover rest of the stages in detail. Now, coming back to Jane Piaget, he believed that each child goes through these stages in order to achieve maximum cognitive development. He also viewed children as little scientists. While discussing this, interesting question came in mind that what exactly forced him to develop this theory? You know, in 1920s, he was employed at Bennett Institute where his job was to develop French versions of questions on English intelligence tests. He noticed that each child gave different response and few of them gave wrong answers to the question which require logical thinking. Then he realized that those incorrect answers revealed important differences between the thinking of adults and the children. And then he studied his own three children of different age groups, also recorded responses of older children who were able to understand questions. While talking about cognitive development, one always needs to keep individual differences, environmental factors, health of the child in mind, as they play a major role in the child's brain development. This is why some children can be more intelligent compared to others. Intelligent in terms of understanding analytical things, imagining stuff, etc. Let's move ahead with very first stage of this theory, that is sensory motor stage. 
It starts at the time of birth and goes till 2 years of age. Students, I am reminding you all again that in today's video, I will concentrate only on very first stage, which is sensory motor stage. In the next videos, I will cover rest of these stages. This will help you to attain better understanding of each of these stages. So let's begin. Now, this sensory motor stage is also known as a period of rapid cognitive growth. why because during this initial phase of life children uses all their senses and motor abilities means they use their body movements and their senses like touch smell taste hear sight to learn about their environment that is why this stage is known as sensory motor stage There are certain important characteristics of the stage which can be divided into six sub categories that focus on the development of new skill at each stage. Starting with reflexes, reflex means sudden action, the ability to move quickly. So this begins at the time of birth to 1 month of age. At birth, baby possesses reflexes such as sucking and looking. He uses these two reflexes to understand his surroundings. Examples: While drinking mother's milk, he uses sucking reflex. At this moment, the baby's vision is not clear, so he recognizes his mother just by gazing her face frame. Second sub stage is primary circular reactions. This stage is between one month to four months. Now, this focus on doing something as part of sensation and learning something new. Students, as mentioned on your screen, word schema. What does it mean? Schema means learning something new out of your actions. The easiest example of understanding schema can be. When for the first time baby saw a dog she develops her understanding that any animal with four legs is dog that is why when that same baby sees a cow she might initially call it a dog now look at these pictures on your screen again in the first picture baby puts his thumb accidentally in his mouth once he experiences this he starts enjoying this pleasure will lead him to repeat his action hence we can say that baby has developed new schemas moving on to third sub stage secondary circular reactions this sub stage occurs between 4 months to 8 months in this child becomes more aware of his surroundings at this stage they understand that their actions have an impact i hope students you all are with me and paying attention moving on to next sub stage that is coordination of reactions this stage is between 8 to 12 months in simple words child will repeat his actions like throwing toys on the floor that will make noise so to listen to that noise he will repeat his actions fifth sub stages between 12 months to 18 months means by 1 year to 1 and a half year at this stage baby will experiment with his actions in order to get attention from his caregiver example banging utensils on the floor or throwing toys on the floor so that caregiver can pick it up the last sixth sub stage is early representational thought this stage is between 18 to 24 months Now the children develop symbols to correlate events objects or people like new gifts at home will represent presence of guest doctors will be used to represent injections and watchman's whistle will be indicator of midnight the last and the most important concept in this whole theory of sensory motor stage is object permanence 
object permanence is the understanding that objects continue to exist even though it is out of sight or cannot be heard for further clarification you can take a look on your screen where you will see parents and a baby is playing with a remote but when father hide the remote the baby is unable to find it the lack of ability to search hidden objects at other places are known as object permanence now the advanced version of this would be when child will search and find object at other places this then would be known as advanced object permanence all right students please don't get confused between overall four stages of cognitive development and between sub stages of sensory motor stage these sub stages of sensory motor stage will help you in understanding how a baby follows a series of cognitive growth in the initial years in the next video we will discuss second stage of cognitive development by jane piaget which is pre operational stage till then repeat this video understand concepts of this first stage thoroughly and do ask your queries in the comment section below i request you all if you like my content then please don't hesitate in subscribing click on the subscribe icon like this video give your feedback in the comment section it is absolutely free of cost and will take hardly few minutes thank you so much wait until next i will post videos uh, on every tuesday and friday now onwards stay tuned stay blessed always thank you for watching